Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back. And today I would like to talk about one of my favorite hand cannons in the game, the MSET HC4. Now this hand cannon falls in the 150 RPM category. It's the same category as the Midnight Coup, Dire Promise, and the Sunshot. But this one, the MSET, doesn't get that much love. It isn't talked about too much, and there aren't really that many reviews of it out there. So let's go ahead and start off with its base stats. It has a range of 37, stability of 46, reload speed of 64, handling of 71, aim assist stat of 76, and a recoil direction stat of 80. For the sights, we have True Sight, slight increase to range, stability, and handling speed. Sure Shot, increase to range, decrease to stability and handling speed. In the middle tree, we have Flared Magwell, slight increase to stability, a great increase to reload speed, and then high caliber rounds. And that also slightly increases our range. Its main perk is Dragonfly. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. Now this is one of two hand cannons that has Dragonfly. This one and the precision frame nature of the beast. Now that's going to be the main draw to the weapon, Dragonfly. And it's actually one of my top 5, top 10 PvE weapons, this M set. Depending on my loadout, it depends on if I'm using the Merciless, Risk Runner, Darcy, Sleeper Sim, things like that. And if given the chance, honestly, Sunshot or Graviton is going to be the best option. So this is mainly going to be a PvE review. Let's remember that Hand Cannon's got a 15% damage buff for PvE in 1.1.4, as well as Dragonfly got a buff as well, plus 30% additional damage against combatants. The M set falls in our energy category, meaning it does really good damage to shielded enemies, and the idea behind me liking it so much is that it has that Fate Bringer feel mob control to it and you kind of need to pay attention to the reload we'll talk about it for a second i masterworked mine for a tad faster reload with the reload masterwork because that's really what i'm looking for the only thing is it has no outlaw maybe later on if perks get added or mods such as outlaw remember that the m set is here today and you can simulate outlaw i guess through the warlocks of Fidians, through the dragon shadow on the hunter or the sealed of car graphs you just need to melee something in the graphs or you can just put on some reload mods on your armor but I think that the base reload is decent enough, and I generally run this M set with the Sleeper Darcy Merciless, and believe it or not, I run double hand cannon a lot with this, Crimson and this one, sometimes a Midnight Coup, but mostly Crimson, because with Crimson, I main it, use it to chain our precision shots, get the ammo back, get my health back, and when big groups come on up, I switch to the M set for that Dragonfly AoE. It's really the best of both worlds. This weapon's been around for a long time, and I'm not really sure why it isn't regarded as at least a decent weapon. I think it does its job really well. Maybe it might have to do with the Lands and Sunshot sharing the same slot, but I use it heavily. I loved it to death. Various instances for the ad clearing, Escalation Protocol, I use it in my Faction Rally farming. And with, with it being this 150 RPM, it does really good damage, because I tried that Nature of the Beast, but that impact matters for one-shots in certain enemies, even though that Nature of the Beast, that Precision Frame, got a Precision buff in the 1.1.4, I still like the M set a little bit more. In PvE, if I'm not running those usual suspects, Sunshot, Graviton, I'm running a Dragonfly weapon. So M set, Kibo, Kibao, that Anabray, AR, or the Tome Patrol. So AR, Hand Cannon, Scout. Because all these have Dragonfly, and that Dragonfly is really important to me. And I use those three depending on different distance situations. So as you can imagine, a Hand Cannon is going to be up close, AR for mid, and a Scout for long range. Now the M set also has the benefit of high caliber rounds. High caliber rounds do their job really well in PvE, not so much in PvP because it does stagger and knock PvE enemies back. Even a couple shots on the first level Ogre boss in Escalation Protocol makes them flinch. My take on the M set is that I love the perk set of High Cal and Dragonfly. There's only one thing that I dislike about it, and that one thing is being that it's an Omelon hand cannon. That's the only thing I would change, because for me, if you gave it a better devil shell, I would love it. It would be perfect. That's just me, though. That's going to be a preference. I'm sure some of you guys out there love the Omelon hand cannons. They're not really for me, though. I'm not a huge fan of the sights, the way it looks, the recoil, even the sound. I can get past it, though, because this one does its job really, really well. In PvP, it does 60 to the head and 40 to the body. Nice rounded numbers. It has an optimal TTK of 1.2 seconds. Its body TTK is 1.6 seconds. And just so we're clear, the body TTK is double the time of the Vigilance Wing's optimal TTK. We're going to start off fast with this. I do not recommend using it in PvP. Because usually we can get by with weapons, but this one has some real issues. The aim assist stat on consoles is heavily felt, the range stat is really low, high kills don't do much of anything, and the dragonfly is just a personal feeling of reward. It rarely comes up. Because with how many rounds you have to spend to get a kill, there's usually none left over usually to, to deal damage to enemies that were hit by the dragonfly explosion. The Dire Promise is a much better hand cannon statistically. There's lots of good hand cannons for PvP. This one just falls short. And here's a better question, have you ever even been killed by the M set? It's good for what it does, but 
it doesn't really have a place in the Crucible currently. Not to mention the real issue that's going on. No one really wants to duel you. With this current meta, the hand cannon really requires you to get close. This particular one, usually players are playing reserved with a lance in the wing, so getting close is an issue itself. And then once you're there, those weapons severely out TTK it and they flinch you hard. I found it hard to even instigate duels with it. The Mida meta was a little bit kinder to the M set, but regardless, there are way better options. In conclusion, it's in my routine PvE rotation. I might be the only one though, and that's okay. And when it comes to weapons, some of them really fit you. If you like something, go right ahead and use it. No matter what anyone says, that goes for anything. Who cares as long as it makes you happy and you like it, you do you. I like the M set for ad clearing when I run certain loadouts. It does well for me. And also the next video, I'm gonna have a small announcement. I'll probably put it up later in the day, it's something small, but let me know in the comment section if you use the M set and what do you guys think of it? Thank you guys for watching and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.